So we're on. Uh, it's <laughs> shut the f up Friday. It is. Actually, it's shut the f up, shut the f up Friday. Now, have you heard the jingle? I have not heard the jingle. It's shut the okay. fuck up Friday. Shut the fuck up now. Shut the fuck up Friday. Show your friends and family how to shut the fuck up when cops ask questions. We're the Pot Brothers at Law. Yeah, I got the juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins and a cold flow. I'm getting cash overseas by the boatload. You want to ride my wave? That's a no-go. And then there's a... There's the sound of a bong at the end of it. Did you write that? I sure did. I want to know how you started, what made you decide to go to law school, and specifically, I'm going to find out with you, how you kind of incorporated this <laughs> magnificent <laughs> combo of cannabis and pra practicing I mean, the law. Short, the short story, otherwise we'll be here a long time. We got all day. Tell why you went to law the school. The short story for me is I couldn't do anything else. I was horrible at math. Hated math, hated science, biology, chemistry, hated that shit. And I liked political science. I ended up, you know, going to school, going to college, and know what I wanted to do. Then I got into poli sci. It was easy. It's reading shit and regurgitating what you read or kind of pre-law classes where you just get some facts and you get to argue them. There's really no real answer. Like you do an equation, you do chemistry. There's a fucking right or wrong answer. Yeah. And, and so I just kind of... It was like, I tease, people ask me, and I say, I couldn't do math or science. I mean, I did, there, there is a little more of a backstory to that in, what grade was it? Eighth? Eighth grade. My dad, I'll never forget this. God, dad, he was, he was the best. First time I ever got in trouble in class, I was a good kid. And he said he would always back me up. So we were in this class with this teacher, I... Things you remember and don't remember. Her name, remember. eighth grade, Mrs. Peterkin. We called her <laughs> Peter Pud. That was her nickname. And we were sitting at the table in her class, and someone threw a paper airplane. And it happened to be the fucking bad motherfucker of the school, the group, you know, whatever, just the mm -hmm. bad kid. And he wasn't that far from me, and she starts asking who did it. And I was not going to rat on this guy. And it came, like, right by me and then to her, so it could have come from me. So I get in trouble for it. I don't rat on this guy. There's just no way I'm going to rat on him. And I go home and tell my dad the story that she didn't see me do it. I didn't do it, as a matter of fact. And they wanted to give me detention or something. And I never had to ever, my, you know, I was a good kid. And so my dad went down, talked to the principal. I ended up getting no detention. And he said this one time, I'm going to let you switch classes. And I switched from this art class, which I don't know how I got into it, to deputy in the law. <laughs> and that's where I think the seed was planted for being a lawyer. And then follow that, you know, many, many, many years later, it's just I couldn't do math or science and hated school. Wow. You had a good introductory experience with the law. My first introductory experience was my college law class. And that was the one college class that I almost failed. <laughs> and I became a lawyer. Well, I, was so. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. I went to UCLA. And I had upper division, and most of my, my upper division, because I was in poli sci, was con law. So when I got to law school, I mean, I already knew con law. It was kind of cool, because there's no, normally it's more like you. You don't know it, people just don't know any of that shit. Yeah, they I don't had, teach it. They're not yeah, teaching. Yeah, they're, you're not taking that class, per se, at undergrad. You're, what was your uh, undergrad in? Communication studies. Yeah, so, I mean, you don't look, you don't see anything with the law. Nope. None I, had, of it. I had a whole bunch of that stuff, so I had a really good, like, I wrote answers, essays. I already kind of did it at a mini level at, the, at UCLA. And how about you? I was not a, I hated school, not a good student. I, you, I guess, I don't know, you, you probably did better than me. I barely made it through high school. I had C's. I, I was, uh, I had been acting since I was 10, summer stock, musical oh. theater. Had the video, I used your VCR, you had the big old whatever, the, one of the first yeah. camcorders or whatever the hell it was. And, and yeah, I was running around Hollywood, I had different odd jobs in the industry so I could make the auditions and do all that stuff. Likewise. And then when, and I went to UC Irvine as a theater arts major for one semester because then I got meningitis, almost died, and decided I'm not going to go to school, I don't need school to be an actor, I'm just going to go out and... And, and so I ran, I ran that racket till I was about 22, and then I met a girl. 
and we got engaged. And she, she was like, well, you're not getting, well, how are you going to support us? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and, 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 and I, that? My first fiance, Melanie. Right. <laughs> and so that, so, so, but, but wait, before I started law school, she cheated on me and we broke up. I should have threw her off the hot air balloon that I proposed on, but <laughs> she cheated on me and, and Right before we broke you went up. to law school. Before I was getting ready to go to law school. That was the best thing that so, could happen. So then I was like, man, I don't know, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I'll just keep doing it. But then I had already made uh, one movie that I wrote and produced and directed, and I did it with uh, out of Lomita, Copley Colony Cable Station. I, out, out of Lomita, they let me use all their stuff. And I did this, did this whole thing, and I was like, you know, I want to make my own films. I want to write and produce and make my own stuff. You need money to do that. Yep. This guy was already a lawyer for uh, eight, eight years or whatever it was, and, uh, and he was making money. I said, if he could do it, I could do it. So now the funnier part is, I, if I was going to now go to law school, at 23, I, I stopped UC Irvine. I just did one semester. So I had, yeah. all, I had to do all the you know, units and this and that. His 30th birthday party, the vice president of the law school he went to, Western State College, Western State University College on Fullerton, mm -hmm. was there, one of his friends. And I, got, I told him I wanted to go to law school. And he said, well, how are your grades? I go, well, they suck. And, <laughs> And I go, do you, he goes, do you have your AA degree? I go, not yet. <laughs> and he goes, well, look, we have a program here. If you're 25, have your AA degree, you, and get a 50 on the LSAT, you can sign up and get your Bachelor of Science at Law degree simultaneously with your Jeez. Juris doc, doc, Doctorate degree. Wow. So I said, man, I'm 23. And he goes, when are you going to be 24? I go, a couple months. And he goes... You know what, get, get, get your AA degree, take the LSAT, get a 50, and come talk to me. So I got my AA degree by going to, I did TV courses and Coastline College and Coastline, Cypress College. Coastline is the best. I, 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 I hit all these, all just in like a, a year. I just impacted it all in, got that, took the LSAT, and got a 45. I don't know how they do it now, but I got a 145 or something. I got the, I, 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 oh, yeah. So I needed to get a 50. I got a 45. I went and saw him and I go, that was the dumbest fucking test <laughs> I've ever had to take. What is it? What does that have? What does this test have to do with law school? With the, the red house is with the green car or some questions like that. I go, look, give me a, give me a shot. And he goes, okay. All right. It's because of me. I'm going to make an exception. Because of your brother. <laughs> and so... I and, love but, how but he, that works, though. He goes, he goes, but I'm going to be watching you. You can't make me look like an idiot. Because if anybody finds out, I'm fucked. Because I'm not really supposed to do this. So that scared the living shit out of me. And for the first time in my academic life, I studied. And I was in that library. And I didn't leave. I was there 18 hours a day. Going everything, everything. My first semester... I amjured legal writing. I was carrying like a 3.9. I crushed everything. So they had a, it was a two and a half year program also. Mm -hmm. oh. So I went intercession. So, so I did the first Put year. Put me to sleep. Had a year and a half left. What? <laughs> Get to the weed part. <laughs> I, 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 every time I tried this to. This is about you, your whole fucking college and every job you had. When you were talking, I let you just go and say, I'd been done already if you didn't interrupt five times. So I don't know what you want me to do. Now, where was I? No, kidding. <laughs> wait, you were at the end. Wait, wait. Do you so, mind if I ask you a really quick personal question? Ask me whatever you want. He, yeah, that, what he said actually resonated with me because that's like kind of the way I did. Like, do you think you have ADHD? Of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, Why would you think I use cannabis? And the funny thing is, I think I have it. And I... It, it, the name of Can your I finish show, my the name, <laughs> No, this yeah. is better. The name of no, your yeah. show actually really made me think about, you know, off my meds and just not even delving into it really deep. But what does that really mean? You know, you're off your meds because you're smoking weed or, or whatever. That's how I look at it. Yeah. You know, you don't have to. I don't think I ever was off my meds because I smoked weed since I was 15. 
because I'm OCD. You can blah blah blah. I'm up here, and, and I'm probably a, I'm the same, but I've been smoking weed for my whole life. Yeah, Chucky Chuck said he used to hide his ADHD medication and just smoke. When yeah, I was a kid, I, I didn't think they ADHD. knew what it was. Well, actually, that they our dad took. They wanted to give me whatever they wanted to give me, and Dad said no. I was in the era of all of these pharmaceutical companies coming at you. It's like Ritalin and Adderall. And well, we could have put them out to pasture because actually when we grew up in Cerritos, it yeah. was cow pasture still. Oh, wow. Right there in Cerritos, right there off the 91 in Carmenita. Okay, finish your story. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I didn't forget. Uh, yeah, so, so I did extremely well that first semester and then I have a semester and a half to go and I'm not gonna go apply for a job at, Somewhere I was working for my brother. Yeah. Fucking cares about my. He didn't care about my grades at that point. So then I, you know, people. Some of the seniors were going, man, you got you get, you could do law review, and, and I go, I don't, I don't, I just want to get out of here. I want to graduate and get out of here. And they and they go, well, then then with what you did the first semester, you could coast. And I, I you know, two point oh, three, two five. Well, I didn't care. I got. I, I passed all my classes, and uh, got out in two and a half years. And then this is where he likes to rib me. I took the bar three times. Good for you. He took it once. So he doesn't. Oh, you're always rubbing <laughs> it in his face. You're like, dick. Well, so. so the, I don't know how I did it. I really. I, I, I don't look, know. I honestly I don't. don't. You know what's funny is because even in law school, I was still that 2 5, 3 0. Oh, I think I amjured one class. I forget what it was. No, you didn't. I Liar. did. Liar. I amjured one class. I never saw it. Are Mine's on the wall. Yours actually. isn't on the wall at the office. Where is it? It's on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> what and class was it? Mine was legal writing. My, I, I, I can't recall. And I almost answered con law. Somebody beat me out by the tenth of the point. I want to say it was a wills and trust. It was kind of weird, but I wrote a really good whatever it was. But anyways, I don't know what the fuck you wrote to me. See? Mine was gambling law. My, was, my, my proudest one was gambling law. You didn't have gambling law. I know. All we had was the one forced tax course that you had to take. Man, tax and all sucks. I had to remember all I remember from that is income is from whatever source derived. It's and that was on the bar? I don't know if that was on but you know what was on my bar? Corporations. A corporations question, which I which I snuck out of the review <laughs> class to get high. And I studied pretty hard for the bar, but I, that one class, I just said, fuck it. And it was a corporation's review, and it ended up being a corporate question. And another one on there, no shit, a negative reciprocal servitude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crushed it. I think I, I thought I did. And people were like, what did you see in there? I'm like, that's what I saw. They always say the worst part about like taking the bar is having to hear everybody's stupid ass answer. I didn't what talk to him. I didn't ask that it. either. There was someone who asked me. And I'm like. You're like, it doesn't matter. It's done. We and you did have what we one, did. Once? Once. Okay. So how did you study? Uh, by myself. I realized. You take a course or any of that yeah, shit? Yeah. It was Barbary, like Barbary. Fleming. Is Fleming still around? Oh my. I don't know. Because if he is, I, I, I don't want to choke him if he's There's still around. Um, <laughs> this is how I did it. Just like a bar school, just like a bar school, bar stool, just like a uh, law school exam, everything, Iraq, whatever the fuck we used to, you know, rule, issue, rule, blah, 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 blah. And then I typed mine, okay? And it was a whole nother level of fuck you because I talked to people, I talked to, I happened to. What did know, you type on? I, when did you take the bar? Fuck, man, it was 1986. I had two typewriters. We're talking manual. Holy no, well, shit. no, it was electric. It was electric. You, could, you, you could only go back, but you could only go back two lines, and you couldn't do a delete or, or it was weird. You could only go back two lines on it because of the memory, and the bar. So I had two of them though in case it went down. I had a backup. So, but I learned from everybody I talked to. It was like a survey. Of what did you do to pass? What did you do to pass? What did you do to pass? Well, I studied this and I wrote da da da. I did. Flashcards. I did this. I typed it because readers are going to have a stack of these fucking things and go, typed, <sighs> written, fuck me. And yeah. then on your typed ones, you underline all the fucking buzzwords. It's not that difficult. Yeah. And the readers go through and go, check, 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 I check. I forgot. Thank they you for reminding even, me about They don't that. even read your paper. Yeah. And it just, I did everything that I, everybody I talked to to give me the best chance of passing. 
So what did you so learn? So I took this Fleming's course. Should have paid me to do which it. Which was the best one out there at that time. And it was a, th a three month deal. And you're doing, and at the end you do practice exams the, the week before. And I did these practice exams and I was getting 90 and 80 and 85. And I was like, oh cool, I, this is great. And I, and I go off and take, take the, take the uh, exam. And I, I felt, felt weird about it because I used a type, I, so they encourage you, if you were using a typewriter, electric, bring two in case it breaks down or something. Yeah, that, that was, I did that. that so I, I, and I did typewriter because you did typewriter. You did typewriter I did too? typewriter. I did typewriter and I'm going and right in the middle my head stops and it, it broke, thought it broke down. And, it, and I had to bring out the other one. And I picked the other one. And I said, da, da, da. And so I go through the whole thing. I'm done. It didn't break down. Somebody fucking, the plug came out or something. <laughs> and, and, oh, that particular one, I'll never forget. Lunch ended. We come in. And, you know, they're like, it's X time. We're locked in the doors. Bam, bam, bam. Let me in. Let me in. There's some guy who didn't make it in. And, they would, and he was starting to cry. You could hear him. And they wouldn't let him in. Finish, and then what? You, ha you have three months to wait, right? And so when the results were coming out, it was my law school graduation. And so I went to the law school graduation. We were partying. Everybody's, we're getting the, the, the results are coming in the mail in the next week. And what the fuck are you doing? Sorry, Why are sorry. you even on your phone? We're in the middle sorry, of an interview. Sorry, sorry. It was That's important. That's fucking rude, man. It was important. Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> you know what? You know why I did that? You know why I did that? I specifically did it because he does it all the time. Not during an interview. Well, you're talking. Look at my phone. No, that's because no, you're no, no, talking. No, no, no. I don't. If do you weren't not talking, on a podcast you'd interview. have looked at your phone Maybe. in a minute. No, no. Yep. I have everything off. We'll play back. I have everything off. I've okay. learned. I can't learned. go through all three fucking times you took it. You, I well, once again, see how I tell stuff and then he like has to interject. Minutes. Well, it's because you keep interrupting. So. <laughs> It's going to take as long as it's going to take. Mine was like a four I, minute. Well, yeah, you're boring. You, you passed it the first time. You're a genius. I oh mean, I had, to, I had to then woke up in the morning on Saturday for, at a hotel, you know, after this, the, the graduation party. And somebody called me and goes, Mark, you can call up and get the results. And that was the first time you could call in and get the results. So I called the number. Somehow I got right through. What happened? I said... It said, California State Bar, last name, please. Fuck you. And I said, Wasserman, Mark. I'm sorry, that name does not appear on the successful list. Oh. Click. And I, and I was like, I'm half drunk still. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? Oh, and then I, so I call back. Now it takes me like an hour and a half. Oh, because it wasn't real the first time. Fuck no. And I call back and I said, spelled out my name, did not on the successful list. What does that mean? Is there another list? I, I had to wait for a letter. And this, can I finish? You, so you could have got that. In your part of the story. I didn't come up. All right, well, we can keep going. No, I could have just thrown her in and you could keep going. Is this what it's like to at work all the time? I don't know. No, actually. Really? Well, he's doing his shit. I'm doing my shit. separate things. You riff so well off of each other. It's so beautiful. The point was, that happened. That was Saturday morning. The next day was my law school graduation. I called my mom and dad and said, I'm at a hotel. In Long Beach, I'm okay. I had fun last night. I just found out I failed the bar. Call everybody. I am not going to my graduation. And don't worry, I'll be home in a couple days. And then, you know, I drank a bottle of vodka and stayed in the room and sulked and da 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 da. And then three days later, I said, All right, I'm, I got to take it again. Did you want to say something? No, we're just waiting to fast forward this shit. Because the first time I studied, I didn't, I didn't part. No, it was clean. It was just, just the bar. Is this pre, I'm, I'm about to show my legal knowledge. Is this pre-ADA? When did you take it? What year? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's, it's post. I, Sorry. I took the No, mark. it was pre-1992. Yeah. Yeah. Was was I was going to say, I'm guessing you didn't try to get accommodations for your ADHD. No, I just smoked. That's fine. I actually, you see me when I'm I, actually, I actually did an ADA case early on after it passed. Uh, it was a fucking federal court deal. It was a pain in the ass. I ended up doing a, we settled it. it I, I, re I represented the injured, it was an actually injured worker what turned into an ADA case. Wow. Or a comp turned into an ADA case. And so then, I then, then I oh, to do oh, that sorry, again. I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. 
Go ahead, go ahead, finish. finish. So, so the second so the first time one was no drinking. Second one was second one, second one, I did as hard as you want. want. I studied with. I didn't take a course. I did that. Same result. And I ended up. It was the same. So the first time I get the results, I failed by twenty fucking points. The second time I failed by. 10 points, but did 30 points better than the last time, but the scaling, so whatever. So now I'm like, fuck. So how'd I study this time? This time I went to, there was in 1996, where we were, grew up in Cerritos, they had got their first Starbucks. And so I went there 6 a.m., would study there from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Because I, I felt in some of the tests I had taken, I got a little distract, thousands of people in a room and whatever. And so I just wanted to study amongst distraction. And I would finish that, walk across the street to the brand new TGI Fridays from six to midnight, get drunk, cab home, my parents' house. Holy shit. And I did that for four months. And then I went and took the bar. Oh, here's a little side story. Fletch. No, no, finish the story. <laughs> well, I took the bar in San Diego. Okay. I took the bar. And now this time I'm like, I'm waiting for the mail. I'm waiting for the mail. So the morning comes, <laughs> my mom and dad wake me up and they go, Craig, Craig called, he said you're, you're, you passed and it's on the internet. It's not on the fucking internet, they don't have that. And so I, and so I, go, I go on our dad's Commodore 64, dial up whatever and it couldn't connect. And I called you up and I said, I better not be fucking with me. I, I should have. I, I, I thought he was told, I thought you were. You fuck. And so we get to his house. He's on the computer. Pulls up the state bar. My name, successful list. Nice. Yeah, there I was. Do you remember what we did? Mm -mm. So my mom and dad were there. We went in his backyard with my dad. He lit up a big joint. Now, I think that was the first time we actually smoked right in front of our dad together. And I think our dad took it, and then he said, let's go to Vegas. And I said, okay, I don't have any money. And he gave me 250 bucks. And we drove to Vegas. What a good brother. Now he's yelling at me. We drove to Vegas. Well, well do, you, do you remember what happened on the drive back? <laughs> the, the ticket. <laughs> it's oh, no. This is good. It's, see what happens when you actually talk? You start yeah, to, but still. Like, okay, go some, go oh, somewhere. This is funny. So he drives, we, go to, we drive to Vegas. We gambled, played blackjack. I won, I won 200, I had 500 bucks when we left. And we, we stayed for like, uh, you know, maybe two hours. We're driving back. We stop at uh, State Line to gas up. And, 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 I, and, I, and I'm rolling a joint. I'm rolling a joint, gassing up, take off from State Line. We smoked a joint. Oh. Victorville. What year was this? Nine ninety six, okay. it was ninety six because I had just passed the bar, and I was waiting for my moral character shit application <laughs> and stuff. Also, and so was right, that easy, and, easy? And, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, no, no, I had already, that, that, time. that, that's the ethics exam that I took. That's a different story, but <laughs> the lights come. I was fuck. We're getting pulled over. Get pulled over. Now this is before any of this. Right? Before and weed was good at all. <laughs> I mean, luckily at the point it was, it was still a sight and release, but still. It wasn't well, just it was, a ticket, it was a sight and release. It was a release. misdemeanor. Yeah. So, goddamn. So, so what happens is, cop comes on, sorry, sorry. And he was speeding, like, what is it, 70, 80, or know. whatever the fuck. He was pulled over for speeding. And then I remember he got him out of the car and he told you to stick out your tongue. I don't remember. Um, I really I, I remember the incident. No, I, I don't remember the details. I, like I that. unfortunately I remember shit. And because he was checking to see how you know whatever what's the smell. We didn't say anything. And then the kid, <laughs> then the cop on my side goes, <laughs> got, "You got no marijuana? Got no marijuana in here?" No sir. <laughs> and he goes, Yo, "What's that?" And I looked down at it. It was almost this big. A piece when I was rolling was on my just stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> just stuck there just fucking stuck and I looked at it and then he goes and then there, his backpack was in between my legs and it had a, coming a half ounce in there killing me and so he goes whose is that and in that instant my mind went 
My brother is going through a horrible, nasty fucking divorce with four kids. If he picks up anything, he is fucked. Oh, oh it's shit. My, it's mine, officer. Yeah, it doesn't give you a pass for ever. For <laughs> doesn't give you an everything, everywhere pass. So, but a lot. So, 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 he, so he takes it, he takes it out, and they, they must have searched the car and all that shit, nothing else in there. I don't there. know if we had a little itty bitty bag yet, I don't remember, but yeah, I remember that. So, I get a sight and release for misdemeanor possession of marijuana. And I'm like, fuck, my more, I, you know, I passed oh, the thing, but my moral character app is still being reviewed. And if it gets kicked, uh, I gotta I'm, I'm going to have to redo it. And this is going to be on it or whatever. So, that's the first thing. so um, we go to court. Our, uh, Fritchie, his buddy who's a, a criminal defense attorney. And you just passed the bar. I just passed the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Not sworn in yet. And so we go, we did. We go to court, you know, a couple months later. We Did go you, to court. Have you ever had any court experience? No, Bre no never, never, <laughs> never. I've been pulled over plenty of times, <laughs> but never ended like that. And so we, we get to court, and the first thing that I saw was the DA, fucking guy I went to law school with. And even better, his name was Jefferson. When first day of law school, he's in his, he's in his, in his skin head and army boots and... Uh, you know, just a punk rocker, you know, yeah. just a total punk rocker. And a very cool, nice guy. And, and we walk into court, and I went, the guy had a full head of hair, and he just, it was him. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's the day I told him. I go, well, maybe this might help or whatever. And so he comes back, and he goes, you can do, you can do these classes and do diversion. And, and like, what classes? I, I ain't doing no fucking class. I'll take the misdemeanor hit. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to go to jail. So... It was a fine and three years informal probation and community service or whatever the fuck it was. And that was that. So, because I would get it, ex I would, you know, because like I said, I, I'm going to work for him. I'm gonna, I don't, who cares about my fucking record? I'm yeah. not, and I'm not going to go say I got an issue Did smoking my Did it affect your moral character? No, because it, it went through before. I never had to, I never had to. Um, they don't follow up and check on you. I Did, never, yeah. Would it have impacted it, you think? Probably, Probably yeah. Absolutely. At that time? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. So now, Fuck but yeah. and, and that's 1996. The fact that when we started this fucking IG, he was more of yeah, let's do it because be real called us up and said, well, not be real. Can I tell it? You're telling it wrong. He just wants <laughs> to talk. To you're trying to. Time. It's your son. I know it is. So tell it right. <laughs> Got to give your son credit. I am. Do. <laughs> I was getting there. See? You, well, you should have started wasting her time. I don't. Are we oh. wasting time? Yeah, I take as much time. Oh, wait, as are there want. cameras? This is I didn't even know. <laughs> so. So to fast forward, <laughs> well, hold on. He passed the wait, second wait, wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. Let me interject. The third time he she's, passed. She's, she's the host. She asked us about our law school. And then my, my son. Then no, my, no, no. And then my youngest son went on to pass the first time also. He oh, so you and your son the, bully yeah, your younger he's, brother. I mean, he's smarter than both of us. He should stop practicing law. <laughs> yeah, he passed it at a time when he wasn't sure what he was going to do going forward, practice or corporate world. Yeah. And he ended up, b between the time that he took it and between the time that he actually got the past results, they made a big deal. And like I always told him, law is this degree you got is never going to go to waste. Ever. Uh, you go into the business world, never. corporate world, and it's coming so true that he's... You know, doesn't you do, do this area doesn't do this area of the law, but I can read. Mm -hmm. You know, you can read. You don't do high end corporate, but you start actually reading this shit, and now it tastes even better. There's a tax code. I'm not a tax fucking guy, but I copy yeah. it, paste it into IA, and go, "What's this paragraph?" Blah, and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> And then if I have to, I'll go double check. I've double checked. No more time. I, I don't want to get into any kind of, you know, citing shit because we've heard what people have done that cited stuff. Isn't and then crazy? And then it's not really a cite. Like, no, that's stupid. I don't know if somebody stupid. could use AI to write a legal brief. That makes so much no, sense. No, so no, I'm, no, I'm sure the legal brief is better than how we would write it. The mistake is... I don't know how you get around it because I don't really do this anymore, but how you would get around the plagiarism potentially and also you can't use sites or if you did, you got to like look it up Yeah. before. It's like double checking your paralegal. Did you put the right site in there? I mean, 
I haven't done motions in years, but I used to live in law and motion. I hated it. I used to argue and write them and sucked. I just hate, hate it. How but, did you so I know a lot about law and motion. What did you do the four months you waited from taking the bar to the results? Uh, I, I interned. I went back and interned where I was interning before. I couldn't get a job. Fast forward to my son. My son going through a couple felony cases because of weed. Uncle Mark. That well, we well, well, actually, no. I started helping your son when he was like 13. I, I and, know. You know, and, and, and all cannabis shit. Actually, they wanted to give his son meds, and he said no. No, I gave him. Come in the backyard. Yeah, I think he was 13 or 14 when smoke. I had him smoke. Do you think that there's, do you ever find that it's harmful for your ADHD? No. Never. I, I have never had any negative effect for me. No memory issues? No, my memory is crazy. Why? My memory is crazy. I studied for the bar at the pub down the street, nice. and it was the best. You, you said foc you've, I focus right? in distraction. Yep. Like when there's just like random subtle noises happening is when I can like dead silence or people to whisper is just like i can't deal with it probably since 1970 jesus christ six, he's a hippie 75 maybe 76 77 i've been smoking every fucking day all day pretty much and i had a couple periods where i had to stop for six months because of a court issue and during one of my divorces <clears throat> I got well, the first one. First one. A, she knew I smoked weed. It wasn't an issue. Until How many divorces? Until are the there? first one was from law school. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we'll skip all that. Yes. So, please. Um, okay. We skip all that. Deference to my lovely wife at home. Ah, that was fucking insane. And she didn't want me to drive the kids. Well, that was a good one too. She comes in the court. We were in court. Court was packed, and we were. This, it was ugly. Just ugly, ugly fucking family law shit. And so we're in there arguing about something, and she says something about, I said, my brother can take them here and there or whatever. And she's like, no, he has a conviction for this, this, and this. And she said all this shit. Right? She's like, he's a drug user or whatever, or DUI, whatever the fuck she rattled off. The judge goes, sir, do you have a license and registration and, light and insurance? Yes. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> oh. Do you think that that stuff would be as frowned upon now in those families? No, I don't well, I, I, I know because I still get called. I used to do family law. I did family law for 15 years. How was that? And it's, uh, I don't do it anymore. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, but, and then going through 10 years. Right. Why? Yeah. Case, I, we, we started I did, to do I did, family law. I became an expert because of his case and everything. We both, like, I can do this. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. And all it is is billing and sitting around and the judge saying, come back later, waiting eight hours to talk to the judge for an hour. Yeah. And then, and then uh, people fighting and then it's just more hours. More just money. More fighting. Like, more but hours. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. Well, yeah, I got to the point where someone would come in. I go, look, give all, split up all your money <laughs> or give it to me and the other attorney right now. Well, what, and then I said, well, go find somebody else. And that's how I kind of got out of it. But, but. <laughs> It's but true. today, these days, I still get the All calls. All the money just goes to the lawyers anyway. No yeah. one ever seems to understand. Like, there are judges who have problems with people using cannabis when they decide custody on the judge custody got. issues. Even in though the in the code, I think in the in the regs, I'm almost 100 percent sure in somewhere in 64, if it wasn't codified into the whole into the whole regulations, that it can't be used in. No, it does say that. No, right. it says that, right. but the judges don't care because yeah, so. I've seen it used and like I got, they, they're making me uh, test and I can't smoke and I can't consume. What do you think, what do you think the outcome would be if this reclassification? That's not happening. You don't think it's happening? No. Why is, why what, would down it? to three? Why would it, why would it Down to happen? three? Yeah, I don't think it's No, gonna it's going to happen. I don't think so. But, but the asterisk is, I've been, knock on wood, very busy lately, so I haven't De delved into this. This is more from articles that I've been reading about the mm -hmm. descheduling because everybody's saying a little different things. And before I say anything really about it, I wanted to look. So I looked this morning just a little bit. Honestly, I should have. And, and, it, and, it, and it looks like, I mean, this is a totally uneducated, <sighs> I haven't really dived into shit comment. I'll okay? give my comment next. Ditto. Uh, or, or asterisk. <laughs> Sorry, people. Uh, we'll, we'll address the issue when I actually have dove into it. But the high and low points. From what I understood, someone said the 280 is still going to apply because it's 
illegal. The fact that it's a three doesn't really matter. Then I've read people who say because, or 280E only applies to one and two, 280E is not going to apply now. Oh. Some have said, nah, it's not such a clear cut because 280E is not like, okay, cannabis business. No, it was up on a schedule one. And so it was included. It's not like all of a sudden you're dealing in a schedule three substance illegally. So your business is still federally illegal. Does that make common sense? Yes. It's still federally illegal because it's a schedule three. It's pharmaceutical bullshit. And are the pharmacies now, it, there's a path to the FDA when it's a three. Does it enable banking? The bank can that's still say I mean, that's yeah. the bank can still say it's still federally illegal. It's a three. So what? So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. It's potentially a little step. At least now they're saying, yes, it's some kind of, you know, medical, uh, you know, it, it's got medical benefits. Shocking. They just figured it out. No, no, number three, there was no medical benefits ever. No, no, not at all. Schedule one. Not fucking heroin. Fentanyl. So now they've at least gone to three. That's the They haven't only, gone to three yet. To me, that's the only it hasn't optimistic. Happened. It is. They filed shit. It's going to probably happen. It, they it have hasn't happened yet. 90 days. It's, that, that's going to happen. That well, gonna okay, because we've never seen it start like that and no, then die off. No, we've never done this ever. Uh, this is like historic. Uh, in 1996, it was historic. Prop 215 was enacted. Mm -hmm. I became an attorney. Well, then you let and politicians every, uh, get involved. Well, everybody said, no. The, everybody said, five years, it'll go legal because... Federal, because California starts everything, and then we're gonna let up. And then twelve years later, you got Colorado first adult use before California. Oh, Colorado did it five more years. It's, we're gonna get. And then oh, adult use in California. Oh, it's gonna go federal five more years. I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it's gonna happen. It's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. And, Why? and Why? then like, all it's gonna do is fuck it up. He's, because okay, wait, here I got it. Well, that's another. That's a whole different argument. Well, it's not an argument. It's the it's same way that people hoped. That people were like, you know, we were on that fence of is 64 good or bad. We're old. Old industry. No, no, no. We come from okay. the old I'm, industry. Kids started in I the old industry. Else. Everything was a handshake. Everything was done. Everything was, but it was safe, but you didn't have regulations, applications, and blah, 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 blah. And you were making They'll it. never make it legal. So, so what happens is when they make it legal, all that just goes poof. So... At the federal level, if they make it legal and try to impose more regulations, it's going to just be more of a shit show than it is at the state levels. So here's why I think they can never make it federally legal. Okay. What are they going to do with the tens of thousands of people in jail across the country for these crimes I that are no, no longer going to be crimes and be expunged from your record? You've got to be released isn't that a good idea, though? Of course it's a good He's idea. talking about the industrial well, well, prison well, complex. Oh. They'll right, crush the prison, right. the private prison system, to let oh, all those people go. See, now here's the idea. He's being pessimistic. Oh. But, but, but the idea, my idea... He's not advocating for that. No. My idea is turn those prisons into farms and cultivations, and everybody who's in there, release them right into jobs in the cannabis industry. That's what I think should happen. So... What? What's the next we question? We go through a few cases with my son. <laughs> I don't know. We've taken so many well, left the, turns. I'm the, trying the, to figure it out. I'm trying to, you, you can't, they're, they're interesting cases that, that because of what we you taught know, him. You, you, so do, do, do first, well, first case. Go in chronological no, order. Going, it's easy. No, no. Jumping all over no, the place. This is the easiest, easiest way to go. If you want, do the, do if the, you want more detail, you let her ask. Okay, but do the, do the trailer park or the house one first or whatever. He had a grow going. We had all. That's how we first this actually. This is the case you were working for the kid. This is for the kid for my son. We got him set up with the. As so a, he as comes a, to us and says, proper, I, he, "Cooperative." He's and, been smoking for years already. He's eighteen, and he wants to sell. We he wants to grow weed and for patients. So we looked it all up under the regulations back then, and he had all the paperwork and had all the patient agreements and signed, blah, 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 blah. Get, and he guidelines. had 24 plants in a room, a little smaller than this, full blown fucking grow room. And one morning he gets robbed and cops end up coming and they find all the weed and they hit him for a couple of felonies for gro growing. Wow, that's one way to tell it. So in the meantime, because he shut the fuck up, because he didn't consent to a search, 
we were able to get the four felonies dismissed because ultimately the cops went in the house with his keys after he said, I don't consent to a search, after they bleeped it out of the, video, out of the audio, it was bleeped out of the audio. Where in the audio did he say, I consent? And it's when he points down to his and keys. Goes, eh. And it goes, eh. Because when he said was, he goes, there's my keys, but I don't give you consent. And why they want to break into your house. And I was like, why don't you go <laughs> after him? I just got a brand new TV. That's why he opened the door. because to the, And there were actual robbers there. A manager heard him and saw them run away. Cops pull up and the kid gets profiled. <laughs> Little white boy at a trailer park in a brand new manufactured home wearing shorts and a... Which I... Can't Can you say that? that? <laughs> no, now it's called an athletic tee or something. Okay, I'm getting myself in trouble. Here we go. Um, and then, so anyways, <laughs> anyways, they both knew they, what he was saying. Though they'll, they ultimately take his keys and they go into the house and they find this oh, this little fucking room, twenty four plants, like the bust of the century. The local paper had it sounding yeah, like it was. It was like, like huge, multi million. <laughs> so anyways, but because he shut the fuck up, because on all the video and audio, he didn't say shit, he didn't consent. We were able to get the case dismissed before having to show that he was doing it properly under the law, which you don't want to have to go there if you don't have to, that we got, every, we got everything, we did a motion to... But it's, uh, but it's important to say how it got dismissed because the cops are on their... They're, you know, they're mic'd up. That's the only thing that bleeps out. Not, all right, we went in, but how, 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 are, how are we going to get in there? How, you know, call someone. Well, Sergeant, on the report, so so. ultimately on the report. Well, they said he consented. We could do a whole show on these two cases. But uh, in the report, one of the biggest things they fucked up was they said there was exigent circumstances. And the problem they had was when they pulled up, it was corroborated by the, by the manager of the park that the people ran away. The robbers left. So there was no imminent danger. If the cops had run up and said, we don't care, we're doing a safety check, they probably could have busted the fucking door down and there would have been nothing to fight about. Instead, they waited 45 minutes, badgering my kid, put him in the back, handcuffed. Saying, we gotta figure out how to get in the and house. You hear him saying, we're gonna bring over Sergeant Joe, so small, we're gonna figure it out. We gotta, Literally, get, we gotta get in the house. And so we, we filed the motion that he didn't give the Overdrawing sense. weed. Oh yeah, these were four felonies. It was 24 plants. These, these were four felonies. Holy four fuck. felonies. But remember, that was the one when we look, we, we give the d d d fucking disc to the DA and the, the cop, cop didn't testify. The cop watched the video of him lying his ass off and he his report. Because he knew. She, right. She comes back and she goes, Cop's not going to testify. And I was cool. Like, and then when we had to go in, Jared had to testify. Did they, know that, did they figure out that dad was a lawyer? No, no, that's not, the, not, that, on, this not on this one because he, uh, Jared just had to get up and. Did you consent? No. That was it. And then, and then we, they had no witnesses to say that, so the right. judge threw everything out. So that was it. The second oh, one... Full search and seizure. second one, he gets pulled over by a cop. Because he's on his fucking cell phone. Me, because he, I'm in a rental, of all places, because he knows better. But it's a rental. He didn't have his earbuds, blah, blah, blah. He gets pulled over. He's making deliveries in Newport. He's got a delivery now. Went from growing to Store. a storefront in Newport Beach, a full-blown retail, and Shout then- Shout it out, what's it called? It was. Oh, no, that was a long no, time ago. Oh. That's, this, that's, that's West Coast Cure. That was the first place they ever came up with West Coast Cure oh. as a brand, and that was the name of the store before it became an actual brand for whatever he puts on, it on. I got it. But that's how it originated back then was this first store they went, they retail. And then from that, it went to delivery. And from delivery, it went to blasting and concentrates to, to now where it is now doing it all. But, 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 but first he had to go through this second case. So the cop pulls him over, gets him out of the car. She hands him one of our cards, like on the back. We'll read it in a no, second. It, this will bleed it. Th th this bleeds into him. But, but this, no, this bleeds what? into us how we actually uh, become yeah, yeah, brothers no. in law. Okay, let me well, really you're you're, yeah, you're we're thinking ahead? Head? Yes, I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> see, who doesn't have ADHD? <laughs> I just I, just, I, I never had the choice of pills until I was 16 and started smoking. <laughs> so so But she asked him what's that smell? She asked him what's that smell. You remember what he said? I know exactly what, what he said. What did he say? He said, smell isn't probable cause in California oh, right. anymore. <laughs> which, which at that time there was a split of he authority. He was smart enough to be told him not to say that the, stuff, but he was he he, he knew well, a little more than he should have. But because there was a it was there was a dichotomy in the law back then that if it's legal conduct, how can it be PC for something? Yeah. 
but it could be illegal too. But I mean, it was just there was a couple different cases. So, but anyways, he said that, and then they sit him on the curb, well, she and gave- then they and then they search his car, and later he's like, "Dad, I didn't give her consent to search." Well, first of all, you had to go pick. That sucks when you. Anyways, when you think about him sitting in that fucking car, I saw I, video. I hate that in the back of the cop car. You know, you ever seen the back of a cop car? Yeah, it's like plastic little oh. seats. Oh no, sat in one. Oh, I've been in one once. That's another story. So, <laughs> so, 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 we get all, we get the, the shit, the discovery, and all, and the video, and everything. And so the report says she pulled him over for his phone, smelled it, got him out of the car. Took him to the side of the curb. He consented to a search. Da 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 da. And she found, you know, and then every, she had everything said, I is smelled there. Smelled it? Because they always say if that. She, but no, but if she had said, no. I smelled it, and we would have probably still be litigating this 20 years later if she said, I smelled it. Oh, she could have searched. Just, she she could have could. searched for the smell. She's back then. She, yo, fuck. Instead, she said he that, gave consent that was probably to the gone. wrong motherfucker guy. <laughs> she, <laughs> she lied one too many times oh, to the is... wrong fucking kid who both times, mind you, in both these different it cases... It was the same cop? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Oh, this, kid, this, same this was kid. a, this was a woman. Yeah, this happened to like, you know... And I'm like, he was ready. To, he had people he knew in fucking jail already. He's like, I'm going to go to jail. I did not fucking do this. I did not say this. I did not say this. I didn't get consent. We're like, well, we'll see when we get the goddamn shit. And he didn't. So I get her on the stand and we go through the video. The report first. The report report first. And then we turn the video on. Okay, so he says I consent when you get him on the curb. And that's out of view. Everything. And you see him handing her this card through the window. At some point before he gets out of out of the car, and so now she she video everything. You hear the conversation. You hear his probable spell. Blah blah blah. Everything they're talking about. Then you get over here. And, oh well, that that's where you gave said he gave consent. What happened to the audio? I don't know. It's technical something. Sometimes that happens. I don't know. I go, that's that, that's interesting. So we heard him tell you when he was. Being pulled after he was sitting in the car initially, he didn't consent to a search. And then didn't he give you a card? Because he also, because as she, after she gave him the card, she walked away and you hear her say, there's something that we didn't hear, that we didn't hear him say earlier, but she said, so where'd you learn that from your uncle or, or where'd you learn that? And you hear him say from my uncle and dad or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle and dad are lawyers. That's where, that's how I know. So, but before that, before she gets him out of the car, she... She reads, she gives, he gives her the card and she looks oh. at it and gives it back. So on the stand, he asks her to read the back of that to the judge. Not the top of it, just the red. Yeah, so, I'll take, I, so, 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 right. And I go, does this look like approach? Does this look like the card? She should have said no to all those questions. And she said, yeah. <laughs> and I go, okay, so can you please read, read the back? Of line. And it says, and she says, I do not consent to a search. I want my lawyer. To any police officer or law enforcement personnel, I am invoking my Fifth Amendment Miranda rights and will only speak to you with my attorney present. Please allow me to contact my attorney. And I looked at her and I said, and you know that uncle, dad are here, or or he told you that, that we're, we're attorneys. That's how he knew some of the stuff he was talking about. And we have taught him since birth that he is not to talk to cops, never consent to searches, and that's it. And so I'm just so curious because we can't hear it. What did you say? You're like a genius because you suddenly, he told you not going to consent, gave you a card, he's not going to consent. What, three and a half minutes and then later? Two, yeah, two and a half, three minutes later, he's consenting. Please tell, tell me what, what she said. How'd you get him to consent? And she said, I, I um, you know, I, you're confusing me. And then I said... And I always say this too, every time I say it. Something I did once, I'll never do it again. Isn't that because you're a liar? <laughs> you know, you don't do that to a witness. You let the judge yeah. decide, and the judge is just, Pacheco, Judge Pacheco just glared at me. I said, no further questions. And then uh, the finding was, there was no consent. And we got the case dismissed, and even better, we did the motion for return of property. And, and the only thing I can credit Newport Beach Police Department with is when we went down to the evidence locker, it was there in the jars, and the, the, there it's was a great jars. Video of, us, of him and my son walking out down the steps with the chocolate, we- chocolate, had bars, you, money, cell phones. <laughs> had you both had 
criminal trial experience prior to that? No. That was your first experience doing I mean, well, this? Well, hold on. What year was that? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter because if any court experience yeah. goes over well, and that's not a trial either. Any, they, to, were to hearing. Hearing. they were hearing. They were hearing in front We didn't of the have judge. to try them. These, yeah. were, these were motions to dismiss based on a reasonable search and seizure. I've just seen so court. I've done, yeah, yeah, we've been, a, we've I been did a million of them. I did a million and one. This just happened to be, <laughs> hey, I can do criminal. Well, I'm not doing the everyday stuff so where he knows all this different code We skipped an important part. Why we ended up representing him. Cocksucking brother motherfucker attorneys. Whatever. <laughs> it's not important. It's not important. What it did was it made, it us, real, it made us realize we're going to we, do it. We can do this. Yeah. It's so like anything it. else in law that you, you know, a lot of stuff like I, I did civil litigation, PI defense, business. You know, if once you do litigation for X amount, it doesn't matter what it is. Give me an expert. Tell me what it is. And discovery and litigation. Let's go. Right? Amen to that. <laughs> right? Yeah. But I did, get tired, I did get tired of litigation. I mean, but I, that's, that's what I did. It's so a it was rough like, life. So, so we learned that, you know, he, he's doing all the criminal, but if we need a big motion or something like that, I can help. I can come in and... Do you like being in court? Yeah. Do you like going to court? Yeah. Yeah. Not so me much anymore. I hate it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, 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 wait, hold on. I have a disability policy. I trump all you. Okay. Good. I have a disability <laughs> policy that you couldn't get anymore. The last, it was like, it's like 20 something years old and it peggles me as a litigator. So if I can't litigate, I can actually draw on this disability policy. But I can still practice law. Oh, that's cool. I can still do transactional law, which I've happened to go into because, and I'm just, I'm getting ready to go see a psychiatrist, and I'm not, I'm not actually bullshitting that I litigated for go see a psychiatrist. probably just under 30 years. I am going to lose it with a judge. I'm no, he's absolutely it. right. I'm going to lose it with opposing counsel. I've already done it. No, I'm close to a little that. tiny bit a few times. Contempt. But I haven't really gone to court since cannabis happened. I made a full 180 almost into uh, just transactional law. So I don't have to. I don't have to go to court. I can go on a cruise next week and I can actually sit on a balcony and get Wi-Fi and I can actually work right there on a beautiful yeah. balcony. And, you know, instead of having to get up every day, and I did that, though, for a whole Put on a suit. Yeah, I paid how does my that, dues. How, does that, how do your stress levels deal with all that? It's cannabis. <laughs> it's just well, look, it's it so doesn't matter. So, I mean, but here's the thing. For, cannabis the whole time. Who knows? I can't tell you. From, <laughs> I've been the same the whole fucking time, right? Why do you think I can handle the shit that I've had to handle? For me yeah. now, I, I will admit, prior to all this stuff happening to us starting in 2015, I like to go to court. I did get stressed out some, but now it's it on any given. Here's one one little thing that happened to me in court a couple weeks ago. I went to a courthouse. You go you go in, you check in. They're checking in all the people and all that stuff, and I check in with the bailiff, and I give the bailiff. Okay, we got to answer that. <laughs> Pause one second. I give my card to the bailiff, and so I do this all the time, right? And so. Usually the reactions from the bailiffs, they're all different. But in this instant, I give him a card, and he's just looking at it. <laughs> it's a little lot to say. And then I went, oh, hey, turn it over. He turned it over. And then, he, and then he's, he's reading it, right? And he goes, you're checked in, counselor. And I sit down, and then you know, people are filling in. He's just, come in, sit down. We'll check you in after. And then you know how bailiffs give the whatever the little, this is the courtroom of this, don't take off your hat. And da, da, da. So he was getting ready to do that. I don't know, there's probably like 40 or 50 people in the courtroom. And he goes, Before I start my little thing, this attorney right here just gave me this card and I want to read it to you. <laughs> Why did you pull me over? I'm not discussing my day. Am I being detained or am I free to go? If detained, I invoke the fifth. Then you, and you went like this, STFU. Do you know what that means to STFU? And then, and then, and then I went, well, if anybody wants what? any, I have them. What and they lined up. I love And I was that. passing out cards. Did you, have you always just had a natural knack with social media, I feel like? Yeah, I, I've been on every social media there is, starting with MySpace and, because I, 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 
found that for my movies, I was on MySpace and my law office because it was free. Hey, Mark's giving free consultation to his MySpace friends. Or my, when Facebook came, my buddy called me and goes, hey, in a year, there's this Facebook thing. I love thing. that it's you free said you promoted your business on MySpace. Oh, like, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, two of them. I was <laughs> even more archaic. I never, I never did on any platform. Which made... How has it... And how has social media helped your, your business? Ridiculous. It's, it, it, we don't advertise. I mean, that's... That's what advertising is now. Yeah. You know, but, but fun. Well, not necessarily. I mean, people spend lots of fucking money on advertising. But we're, well, right. But we, we, we didn't go into it thinking, we went into it thinking, hey, this is the free little promotion advertising stuff we can do. Because on Sunset, did you ever get to there? Maybe we'll get to be real studio. No, I, I was waiting to get to be oh, real okay, studio. Okay, okay. So, cut. So, cut to January 22nd, 2015. We're in our office doing what we do. And, and, at this point, I, I have my office. I'm Lofts Mark Wasserman, Lofts Craig Wasserman. He does what he does. I do criminal defense. He does business stuff and some more comp stuff. Every once in a while, a case might come in, the PI or whatever. We do shit together. That's, and that's who are partners. Mm -hmm. Set on practice. And so Jared comes in. It's 1 in the afternoon. And he comes come in and he goes, Dad, Mark, Dad, Unc, Dad, Unc. Uh, my friends need to interview attorneys who'll smoke weed and answer questions about uh, 2016, how it's going to go legal. And I told them you guys would do it. <laughs> and I went, okay, wait, where do we go? <laughs> yeah. And he went, wait, where, where are we going? What, what, what is this? And he goes, it's, it's Be Real TV. And then that's when I said, that's just, I was still, is he on two, four, seven? What network is he on? I didn't know Be Real was on TV. He goes, no, Ankh, it's a right, internet. It's internet. A live stream yeah. internet or whatever. And so... He was a little apprehensive. You said, what, what's the bar going to say? And I said, we have our physician's recommendation. We're going to a private studio, and they don't have a problem with it. We're, we're protected under Prop 215. I don't know. I, didn't see I guess I really never even thought about how that made, might make my professional life look. I don't really care. I and feel then like. I said, fuck it. Well, that, well he, he, he can't lawyers, more about. How many lawyers do you know that have pill pop, popping problems or Andrew. like. Problems. Or three like three or straight lunch. up alcoholics. Alcohol, absolutely. <laughs> 30 years ago. It's a, it was different. Yeah. yeah. But it's not 30 years ago. That's true. Be real TV but even, is what I'm so, saying. But like, even 15, that's almost 10 years. That's almost 10 years ago, actually. So Okay, so, so a 10-minute discussion or so, and he says, all right, you know, when? Right now. <laughs> Holy shit. But that's, that's Jay Cures, my nephew, his son. And we said, okay, we bumped up to Hollywood, went to <laughs> Be Real TV Studios. I think it's still in the same spot. And we uh, were interviewed by Adam Hill on Getting High With. And we sat there and we smoked bongs and dabs and blunts and joints and, uh, and, uh, and qual calls where their live stuff coming in. And he was just, he started, I think, I believe he started like this. I'm just a stoner and I, I drive around. I want to be safe. What, what, what do I do, guys? And so we just started, you know, we didn't have any of this stuff yet other than, you know, don't consent. I mean, we know what we know. Yeah. And, that, and that's what we did. Basically what we taught our, our nephew. We talked about that, answered questions. What do I do here? What do I do there? Bang, bang, answering questions. And it, it was supposed to be like an hour. It ended up being two hours or something like that. You guys have definitely worked out a really cool niche for yourself. <laughs> well, we fell ass backwards cool. into it. Don't. <laughs> but that's how well, everybody has to figure it out for themselves and be like, okay, now I know how to do that. Well, that now but, we're on Instagram. Yeah. And you can, and you, I look at, so I spend a couple days just scouring Instagram. First, I went on my computer and you couldn't do it on your computer. And mm -hmm. I was pissed because I'm like, oh, great, my phone. And so I start looking. And all, it, back then, it was, it was weeds. and ultimately, ultimately, we figured we'd give out tips. It was 15 seconds. And we did because my son's like, no one gives out free advice. Okay. So people have to pay a lawyer to get advice. Mm -hmm. Here, you want you guys give my friends advice. We've been giving his friends advice for 20 years already in the weed business. So it was weed-centric type of right. tips about being in the car, I mean, the smell, what to say, what to do. Well, we started with a series of 15-second well, like, videos. But, but it, right, that, that, went, that broke down the whole thing. Well, sorry, I, the, I think that's how I initially found you guys, was right around... It was, t it was 2015, and then through 2015 yeah. and 2016, we started dialing in the script, right? Because, so we started, did we, a series of videos directed to... California 
cannabis patients, and what to do if you're pulled over. And so we did that whole series, which is- And then it mushrooms, then it mushrooms state to state to state to nationwide because we didn't really realize initially we're dealing with our, with the, the things we tell you to do are every mostly state. your constitutional rights, which apply in every state. No matter what you're pulled over for or what the fuck's Nothing, going you on, have the Fifth Amendment, you have the Fourth Amendment, you have all those rights, no matter what. So it, it, that's when it kind of started mushrooming because it went from just us giving California people, what do we know on Instagram? Like, okay, it's who's going to watch? We're doing, we only know California law. We tell you that's only California law. Yeah. But the overlay with the, with, with the constitutional stuff, right, God, and the is what really blew it up because now it's applicable in any state. So well, and the, how the script got developed. Let her ask. She was going to ask a question. Go Don't cut her off. Be rude. <laughs> Don't cut me off. Be rude. Jeez. How the script started coming about was the questions coming from people in the comments. Oh. What do I do? If, what do I say if this? So like more what do I say here or there? And so we're, we're, at first it was just invoke the fifth, shut the fuck up. But then we're like, you know, we, we got to give some kind of dialogue. Yeah, because that, people that get all have. nervous and shit. And it's like at a bar and someone says, how much do you have to drink? None. Come on. Or they say one. That's what I was One or two. Ask. One or like, two. The script is That's great. what happened for, that's why we came up with. What? I'm not discussing my day because you don't want to lie question. and Any say question. I had none. If you if you had some, don't you don't want to lie. Two, if it's not two, and don't, don't lie. You just don't want to lie yeah. at all. So and there's nothing. no reason for you to lie. You're not a truth teller moment with the cop. I mean, it's I'm not discussing my day. You don't have to say anything. So like the script is great in theory, but for somebody like me that like panic, get out the sticker. So what? <laughs> Okay, hold on. Actually, I, 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 so I won't forget. Oh, I, I think one, there's a small and a large Hell there. yeah, thank you. That I'd like to give you. And then uh, at least we, got, we got our script rolling papers. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then now. Fuck yeah. People ask for this. My favorite is the script sticker. The script sticker. Uh. Oh. We suggest you put it either on your visor or right where the oil change reminder sticker would go. Left corner of your windshield. <gasps> Genius. So when you get all Thank nervous, you. you're not you're welcome. tripping. Genius. <laughs> I'm, I'm on my car. <laughs> yep. I'm not discussing my day. Right, because they they're they try to intimidate. It's already intimidating already. It's hard. So the ones that take advantage of that. I had to do it once before really? we actually had. Right before we actually had the script, I think. Not very long. We were being developed because we had like 70 words and 65 words. Tell, tell what happened. Tell it. You don't want to tell it? No, you you want him to tell it? You gotta... When he got pulled over for alleged DUI and they, they wanted him to do the field sobriety. Right, to... said... Pulled right out of the bar. Right. He pulled right out of the bar. Learned, I'm telling you, I just learned. I you just... didn't have to do the field sobriety test. It was actually right test. the fuck down here. Literally. It was right coming out of... Is it sharks over there? Sharkies or something? Shark on yeah. Or something okay. back in there. And I had, it was a horrible date, actually. It was pretty funny. I had a couple drinks during dinner, the appetizers, dinner, blah, blah, blah. A couple drinks, a water, blah, blah, blah. I get out, I pull out, pull out, and I had it in valet, and I pull out in a brand new truck, and I get lit up. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did I pull you over? I don't know. Why did you pull me over? Like, I don't know what I did. I just pulled out. Like, what did I do? Your lights are off. Fuck. Ballet. I go, I go, fuck. And this is exactly what I said. Fuck. Fucking ballet. And I lean forward and I hit my auto lights back on because in ballet, they took it off auto lights because it would, the lights would be on. <laughs> so I turned up, go, fucking ballet, and I turned them back on. So, did you ever have any drink tonight? And I go... And I don't recommend anybody do this at all. No. Okay? I said, you saw where I came out of. Like, I had owned a bar years before this. I owned a bar, and they red dog the bar, which means yeah. cops sit on it and wait for people to come out. When I owned a bar years and years ago, yeah, I owned a dive bar, I would come out looking like a customer and decoy decoy the cop so that our good customers who live in the neighborhood could get home without a problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, where was I? But they were never impaired. The, Correct. The, the cops, the cop, 
said, told you, you, all, you or... said, am I being oh. detained or am I free oh, to go? Oh, no, no. He keeps asking me about where I came from, how much I had to drink, what he I was doing. You, you can tell me. You can tell from. me. Right. That's about all I said. Then he keeps asking me. You can tell me. I'm just asking. And, and I said, I finally said, that was the fucking hardest thing I ever had to do. The guy said, uh, I'm not discussing my day. What? I'm just asking you questions, trying to help, blah, 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 blah. And he asked me again. He said he smelled something, which was bullshit. <laughs> I, had, I had a couple vodka soda waters, and then I had a cigarette lit in the car. There's no fucking way he smelled vodka at all. So I find, he asked me again, and I finally said it. I said it. He's standing there. He looks eight feet tall. And he asked me some of the bullshit questions, and I finally said, am I being detained or am I free to go? And he says, you're being detained, get out of the car. And I go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I roll up my windows, I get my keys, I lock my doors, I get out of the car, I shut the door, I go stand on the curb, and he's standing there in front of me, and he wants me to do the field sobriety test. And I said, sir, and I just learned this not that long before. I'd heard it, but never looked it up. That they're voluntary. Mm -hmm. They're fucking voluntary. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to tell you. How they tell you is... Well, you could do these, could help. I mean, so. Just want to make sure you're safe. It's just bullshit. But they're, so, anyways, I just learned this. And so he gets me out of the car, asks me to do them, and he's looking at me, and I said, and he starts to put the light in my little eye, the flashlight in my eye, too. And I said, Sir, I'm, I'm politely declining these. He's like, What? I said, I politely, these are only going to help us, help you, help. We're just doing our job. And I said, Sir, I'm, I politely decline those. And then his partner comes up and like starts yelling at me about being safe and they're just doing their job and we can do these, it'll make it go quicker. And I said, sir, I politely decline those. And again, I said, am I being detained or am I free to go? Anyway, here's your license. Go ahead, get out of here. Go back to Anaheim. <laughs> to Anaheim. I never even got a ticket for the license. <laughs> And it was like the hardest thing I had to do. It is. It's the best. We live in it. It's actually giving like... me PTSD. <laughs> uh, other than it really worked it's out well. Up. And I don't think I would have been near, oh, near any type of impairment. I really don't think so. But it doesn't you matter. Never want to do, you will, yeah, you could be sober as fuck and you're going to not pass the field sobriety test. I'm, I'm, the I've got two cannabis DUIs I'm dealing with in Orange County right now that should that would have just let they would have been gone if they if they if we want we want to try them what's so the bad. biggest what's the most prominent charges being on on the cannabis front Probably i mean do you well no i mean for do you no I, we just got three alcohol dui oh. calls the other day <laughs> <laughs> one of them is using cannabis also <laughs> but, <laughs> but but no the 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 cannabis charges are misdemeanors and every now and again, a felony, will, the DA will do a conspiracy to commit the misdemeanor felony or throw in the drug house felony stuff or whatever. Uh, but, but that's the kind of general. And then a, a lot of uh, uh, transportation, possession for sales, stuff like that. And the, the unlucky people in the black market who get caught. Yeah. You know, because that's a small piece. Some of them are kind of targeted too, aren't they? I mean, that's how stupid it's people a, can be. Well, well here. Well, we, yeah, <laughs> we, that's a whole other show. A father recently came into our office. His son has an elaborate grow in the basement of his house. And he wants to know what kind of trouble he could get in. So I told, I told him everything misdemeanors, felonies, this and that, and the other, da 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 da. Are they going to come, you know? I can't tell you whether or not it's going to happen to you, but I'll tell you that I think maybe four or five percent of the illicit market are people getting busted. That's small. But if something happens to you and you come in and I say, well, you're only in the four or five percent, you're not going to care. So this is the risk. And you, you got to decide, you know, do, do you want to have attorneys here? That, you know, if you get arrested, you use the bail bond, but you call us, we're getting ready to go to court. If you do everything we said, then, you know, we can help as much as possible. Man, that sounds pretty nice. Clients that listen. <laughs> and we've had, we've had some. We've, we've had, had some. Them. Able to use Very successful. Say, don't talk. Literally, less is more. Which I is took that over into business. On social media. I took like, that over into the corporate bullshit. Don't talk. Don't say anything. Shut the fuck up.
That's why we can say the script, we teach it, and we use it. Okay, I want to do the script right now. Let's do yeah, well, let's do so, right so now, now let's what do we're it. doing is the script challenge. A that's, script that's, challenge, that's sorry. Our, that's our game show. That's, shut the fuck up Fridays. We, we've done, uh, yeah, shut the fuck up Fridays at conventions. Great. Okay, so the game starts when I say, I'm the cop, I pull you over. Okay? All right. right. Okay. I'm the cop, I pull you over, and I say, what's that smell in your car? Why, why did you pull me over? You didn't use your blinker. How come you didn't use your blinker? I'm not discussing my day. I don't care about your day. I want to know about the, is your, is your blinker broken? Is it a broken blinker? Can I say it again or do I do you, the, you, you I, can do it as many times you, you as you want. No, I'm not discussing my day. I don't want to know about your day. I want to know whether or not you know you have a broken blinker and I, I'll just give you a fit. What's that smell? I'm, I'm not discussing my day. This is really uh, fucking what, hard. What's, what's the, the smell of? I'm not discussing my day. I don't care. <laughs> Guess what? Then it's up to, you know what? It's up with, no, 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 no. That will not get you arrested. That will not get you arrested. Yeah. That's, that's a, I, I, I if that gets you arrested, good. good. We're gonna have a good case. a lot of money. If, okay. Just continually saying that. I, I mean, I don't know how well we, I pissed we, some we, cops we, off with we, my we, mouth we, before. Well, but but you, did you say these words? No, no this is all polite. I'm not discussing. And it depends how long you want to get badgered for you to say, I, am, yeah, I "Am I being detained?" Or my they have to cut it off. Oh, they have to make that decision. decision. Oh. When you ask that, that's that's the point of that. You could say it forty times. Or after two or three, you say, or one. because of, people don't get, and is, and that's why when we do these seminars at, at conventions, we explain the whole theory behind it is, is, is that the less you say, they can't do anything to you. Why are they asking questions? If they, 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 say, license, if they say license and Give it over. Hand, yeah. Let's go over that. That's that's cooperation. That is, yeah. Cooperation is different than talking. That and you have to hand that, those documents over. It's required. License and insurance As registration. My hands are shaking to the glove box. If they ask you to get out of the Why car. Why are your hands shaking? You have to get out. If they ask you out of the car, you have to get out. Get out. Okay. That's what we say. And then when, at that point, you've said, I invoke the fifth. And then you shut the fuck up. And, you know, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to get a. Uh, well, you, know, we, no, you know what we've had to add? We've had to add yes, it yes. to the whole script is because we've had people ask. What happens if I invoke the fifth and then I talk? Oh, well, you're fucked. You've waived that fifth amendment right that you just invoked. You waived it. If they keep hammering you after you did your fifth and they keep hammering you and hammering you, you say, I want my lawyer. Once you invoke the sixth, right? Yeah, that's the sixth. Once you invoke that, then they have to stop asking questions. And if they don't and you crack, we can get it thrown out. Then that can get thrown That's out. That's inadmissible. But before you ask for that lawyer, so the, the, the Miranda doesn't necessarily mean, you know, they can't keep asking We're, we're going to have to do the script 2.0, and how are we going to fit that? <laughs> Let's get it. But no, that, that's true. That's the, if they keep going on and on, you just ask for your lawyer, and then, you, and then you continue to shut the fuck up in the car, on the way to the station, in the station house, getting booked. You shut the fuck up. And then you, so it depends who you are now, right? Now, yeah. now we have our clients, especially in the cannabis industry, they have somebody who's dedicated to get that call at 2 a.m. to then call the bail bondsman that's ready to go. Same bondsman, I've, Bob Drake bail bond, same guy I've been working with for 20, 27 years. Never, has never let one of my, my clients go to county jail after arrest if they did everything we said. Yeah. It's got to be, be done fast. So you can book out right where you're in instead of getting transferred to county, which is, that's, you don't want to, then it's going to be, Smart you got to go through the loop and, people, and, and all huh? that stuff. So, so there are clients I have, they're, they're not business clients, but they're clients that I say, you know, you, you should probably have somebody that can call, you know, you can call because you can't bail yourself out. You know, so, but if that's the case and you don't have one, you just, you shut up, you get released, and then you go see an attorney. Bail out, get released, go see an attorney. 855 Wassla. Have you guys had to bail each other out before? No. no. That's nice. No. Stayed out of jail long enough. Is there a follow-up question? Why? Oh, I've, nothing. Oh, if you did, I was just no, curious no, if you did, no. if you had any stories well, about no, going to jail, because it sounded like... Oh, you didn't ask that. that. Oh. I don't know if he has stories about going to jail. I know that I've never bailed him out. Oh. <laughs> No, I never had to get bailed out. Never been inside a jail cell. That's nice. I've Just had brushes, 
I had about 16 years old in a temple fucking parking lot getting busted for weed. <laughs> Me and my buddy and his dad's fucking yellow fucking Camaro that looks just like the one on Transformers. Look wow. just like that. Uh, yeah, we got caught with weed. And they made us dump it out. And Did they the, step on it? The, all the people at the event we were there for at this temple, some fucking youth group. Where it came out and the cops were there and the lights were on. Good to our mother. And they ended up giving look at, us a like, look at what a change of events. They given us a warning, and they took. They made me dump some stuff on the ground and push my foot on it, and then they took a little uh, old film can. People didn't even know what the fucking film was. A film canister, and they took one of those and they let us go with quote of warning. We're sitting at Denny's and we're sitting there, and I had this jacket shirt hoodie thing with that had pockets right here. Kind of weird, it wasn't like regular, it was right here on the side, kind of, you couldn't see them. And I'm sitting there and I put my hands in them and we're all tripping that, oh fuck, we could have gone to jail. Like we could have been fucked. And I reach in and I pull out a fucking film canister. <laughs> and I open it up and they frisked us. I they open it, it up and it was just full of weed. It was such a good moment. Number one advice for anybody considering going to law school. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do How it. How bad do you want to be a workhorse? Now, I take all You want to help that. people? You I, want to save I mean, lives? Well, there's a lot of different reasons to go to law school. I mean, and my son, not, not the one everybody sees, the other brother who actually runs the, the organization. Absolutely. He's like us. He's, he's He'll be the next Steve Jobs. Just he's ridiculous. If you want to go into business, I mean, it's great education for thinking and even in analyzing, and it can be a lot of bullshit, but it does help you when you're looking at a contract. Even if you're not a contract attorney, you know, you don't have to specialize in that necessarily. You can still read and you had enough. Everybody takes contracts. Mm -hmm. And there's only so much shit that's the general or I don't have to pay you know, basic to things, things, right? Ever. You know, there's yeah. basic shit that, come on, you've seen one, that's you've true. seen them all. Mm -hmm. Duh, it's like, it's ridiculous the shit I see still from some of these big firms. But yeah, I would say if you really want to help people, I mean, if you want to make money, be a personal injury attorney and be really good at marketing. You're on like literally every social media app. Pop Brothers at Law on all. Yeah, yeah but you know, Pop, Pop underscore at underscore brothers underscore <laughs> at underscore law is IG and Snapchat. And then the rest of it is just Pop Brothers. How is Snapchat? I really need to get on Snapchat. I, it's great. It's great. If you, it's great. I, I'm, I, I educate on there. I say, you know, hey, oh, like yeah. I'll, I'll get on later. It's Friday. You know, it's the weekend's coming, and I get people. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't know that. And you know, I mean, it's just another way to to let people know. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck and, up. And, and you will increase your chances of not needing to hire an attorney. And if you have to get an attorney then they'll, you'll have the best defense possible. Fuck yeah. Shut the fuck up. Pop Brothers, Craig. At Law. Mark, Pop Brothers at Law. Otherwise, oh, we're just brothers who smoke pot. Which there's is lots, bad. There's, there's a lot, lot of bad them. things. There's a lot of them. And, and, we, and we have a trademark. But we are Copyrighted. brothers. <laughs> we are lawyers and we do smoke pot. Oh, no, wait. Now I'm going to do my Thank slam you. poem. Oh, yeah. Do it. No, fuck yeah. I want no, a slam poem. I actually poem. do have to go. It's for you. <gasps> Thank you. At the seminars, we usually, we do our seminar, the script challenge, and I do the slam poem. And um, I've done it in places where it's just like, what? <laughs> I, opened, I opened for the alcoholics. Okay. You know the group, the alcoholics? No. The licks. The licks? The alcoholics. They're a rap group from the 90s. We were I was just explaining this, this poem that I wrote centered around you know, your rights and, and what we teach, came out of frustration of people and clients who, were, who just didn't know their rights, and seeing a lot of innocent people have to go th get arrested, get an attorney, get it dismissed, and just that's it. You don't get anything back. You know, if something really egregious happened, you have a civil suit, but that's usually not the, not the case, you know, because, because they can, because of the things you say and do, you're giving them evidence that they can use, whether that evidence is right or wrong, that's determined in court. So. Which can be dicey. Absolutely. No, we just got a, a, a lady who got a checkpoint 
It, in a checkpoint, it was somewhere in, uh, no, it was in Riverside, a checkpoint at, inside a How shopping. How are checkpoints still legal? Because driving is a, is a, is a privilege, Public, not a yeah. right. Yeah. It's, it's on transportation, this and that. But arguably, it is unconstitutional. You're obstru I'm trying to travel. You're in my way. So, so I'm not discussing my day. And, and I've talked to people who are like, you, right through. People are getting right through. I, a guy posted on, on YouTube once at, at, a, at a, a border check or wherever it was, and he's just going, he kept yelling, am I being detained or am I free to go? <laughs> am I being detained? For like five minutes, one guy came, and then, and then finally a sergeant came and went, get and out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. You know? What are you doing? Because, you know, that's, that's the, if you have that right, you could have pulled him over. But this lady had a check, run, took a couple hits of a bowl, runs to the supermarket, didn't get to the supermarket because inside the parking lot of the supermarket there was a checkpoint. What the fuck? And so, so, so you know, so she, she, a I, checkpoint I, I, in a supermarket? Yeah, it was. I've never seen it. It was, but whatever. There it was, and she does everything opposite. Tells him she smoked. I'm, I'm fine. She's fine, and she's fine. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem when you think when you know you're fine. fine. Like what really? What and, and you don't know you're right. Then this this is what happens and and do the field sobriety test. Oh. You just have to say that. But he goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you don't have to do this, but if my brother's right, you know. But, if nothing's wrong, but, and I should and be she, on and you, she already said she smoked an hour ago. You know that which you just shut the fuck up. That's a bad <laughs> that's a bad piece of evidence. Depending on what potential juror actually hears it, in Orange County for sure. So she lift your leg up. Point your toe, and as she's doing it, she's going. I really don't have very good balance to begin with. I don't know, you know. And she, and I'm looking at a completely unimpaired, sober person. Watch, you know, I'm watching the video go through and stuff. And she's just, and then, then, then this. Oh wow. The cop says to her, "You smoked an hour ago. Don't you know you can't drive after you smoke?" It's a video. Okay, slam pole. Here All right, we go. this is called. Am I being detained or am I free to go? Am I doing it to any? This camera. Oh, okay. All right. Am I being detained or am I free to go? This is what to say. My lawyer tells me so. The cops are out there doing a job. Sometimes they must contain a mob, a thankless job that saves many lives at their home are worried children, husbands, and wives. But does that give them the right to stomp on my rights? So we are here for you, the cannabis community, to fight, to let you know it's okay to just shut the fuck up when cops ask questions. You start with, I'm not discussing my day. End with, I invoke the fifth. These ain't suggestions. These are words to live by, to memorize. See, it's not about the size of that cop's gun, because they want you to run. So they could pull that macho gun and shoot you for fleeing the scene. Some cops are just plain mean. We must shut it off, shut it down. Those feelings of anger that instantly come around when we know that cop showing his power and his might is not right. We must remain calm. Keep the devil sleeping on the left shoulder. We must be cold, even colder. Ice must flow through your veins to shut that heat. The blood that rushed your brain straight from your feet when that cop disrespected you cuz you wouldn't tell him what that smell was. And he accuses you of a pot DUI because he absolutely knows that you're buzzed. But see, they can't tell and they don't know. Only if you tell them so. Oh, officer, I smoked a joint a few hours ago. Officer, here's my medical rec. Officer, I'm a marijuana patient. We live in America. Prohibition still exists. That cop's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. 50-50, he arrests you. Give us a chance to represent you with a defense that's blazing. Let us show you in court we're amazing. But we could only do that if you listen to our tips. Now let me see you move your lips. You know the drill. When the cops ask questions, we say, I'm not discussing my day. Am I being detained or am I free to go? I invoke the fifth and then you, you, Ask for my Shut the fuck up. up. That's the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> then you shut the fuck up. It's all about what you say and what you do. We have given you the script. We are telling you what to say. We are telling you what to do. We've put your hands up in protection mode. But should you take a shot to the jaw, we will be here fighting for the cannabis community and all citizens because we are the Pop Brothers at Law. Yeah, I got the juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins and a cold. Oh, that's all you want me to do?
Just do a couple of, just so I can uh, grab thumbnails. Okay. Of I, okay, I got, I got you, I got you. Give me like yes. zany, crazy. <laughs> well, you can't do zany with the glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah! Uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's what that was fucking perfect. <laughs>